All right, hello, hello. Welcome back, people. As I said in the last video, this video we are going to he cracked the crystal too. do the hunt board and these missions that I got in my messages. So let's do that. I was behest. I might have come across something that might need your attention. All right. Trouble with the ledges. Come on. Let's activate all these. What could be wrong with Togo? He seen well enough when I last saw him. <clears throat> Hopefully it's nothing. Alright. Most of the stuff is just run quest here. I got your note. You think something's wrong with Torgal? So you can read. But I didn't say I were wrong with him. I said some weren't right. He's not been eating me treats. He used to love cracking the bones from Molly's boiled brown, but now he won't so much as look at him. Didn't like him. Which is why I'm of a mind that his mind's on somewhat else. You've not been working him too hard, have you? No harder than usual. Is that it, boy? Do you need a rest? <laughs> What was it you said he was? A frost wolf? That's what the lawsman seems to think. Then maybe this all has something to do with whatever it is that's woken inside him. I suppose things have been different since Rosaleth. Perhaps Hippocrates knows something. Instead of everything, you mean? Perhaps. Right, let's see. Maybe Toro get an upgrade. I need to ask you. He isn't ill, is he? I don't think so. But according to Lady Karen, he seems to have. She says he's hardly been touching his bones of late, and she believes it may have something to do with what happened at Rosalith Castle. Hmm. I rather think she might be right. Though all canids are instinctively inclined to crack open bones for the rich marrow that resides within. True. But I see no reason why a frost wolf should be any different. Accordingly, I suspect it is not a lack of appetite that afflicts Torgal, but a surfeit of it. If we assume that his newfound magics require additional nourishment to sustain, it may well be that the bones Lady Karen is accustomed are to no providing are no longer sufficient. Frost wolves, after all, habitually prey upon far larger animals, whose bones may yield altogether different nutrients. As to where one might find a suitable substitute, some antelopes that graze the meadows of eastern Rosaria have been known to grow to a size more than double that of their lesser cousins. I don't recall ever seeing any that large. And little wonder. The oldest and largest such creatures rarely leave the safety of the highlands for fear of predators. The last elder antelope sighting I recall hearing about took place near Cressida, and that was long before the village was abandoned. Even so, it seems like a good place to start. Good hunting, Clive. All right. So I got one um that leads me out of hideaway. Let's see if I can get these other ones to lead me out the hideaway also. But once I leave, I can just take care of everything outside. I don't know where Sid gets the energy. It told me she was building a ship. So wait, I'm not doing a bunch of back and forth. Clive. That's why I'm here. Shh. Otto. Is this better? <laughs> a little. Listen. 
I've some bad news. It turns out the hideaway may be slightly behind in its payment to certain lenders, and it's maybe my fault. But I swear to the goddess, I thought I had the numbers square. Sadly, that square turned out to be more of a circle. <laughs> Zero, you might say. I can straighten it out, I swear, but it's going to take some time and I'm going to need help keeping it from Otto. Be late for that, I would say. Mm. There you are. What a surprise. So let me get this straight. You forget to pay our lenders what they're due, and instead of coming straight to me, you get Clive to come to you. And I hope he'll dig you out of the hole you've dug for yourself. Clive, the man in charge of the place you've been cheerfully trying to bankrupt. And you thought this was a cunning plan. Why? Well, who needs paying? Oh, just Martha. And the dame. And, well, Lady Karen. <laughs> but only 500 talents. We owe three of our most trusted friends five million gil. Each. Mm. Five million. Each. What? They lent us the bulk of the money we used to rebuild the hideaway, you see. And, well, I, I must have made some sort of oversight. Those ledgers were my responsibility. And it was my decision to entrust them to you. This is my fault. Do we have that much to hand? I can always ask my uncle. No, we don't. And no, you won't. We've lightened Lord Rosfield's purse enough. After the King's ransom we had off him, he deserves better than to see our begging bowl. Besides, we'll need to learn to stand on our own if we're gonna make this work. All right. But that doesn't mean you have to shoulder the burden yourself. Is there anything I can do to help? There might be. How'd you fancy taking these to Martha and the dame? Rocks. Rocks, he says. Worth a thousand talents apiece, these are. A little something Sid and I set aside for when times got lean. And I reckon 15 million in overdue debt probably qualifies. I just hope our associates' eyes are a bit more discerning than yours. I'm sure there will be. Mm. Should be me making the rounds, really. But you know how it is with this place. Orders to bark, asses to wipe and all that. I know. Which is why I don't mind going in your place. Go. Do you know why I only gave Master Clive here two star rubies? Because... you'd rather Lady Karen killed me. Because I'd rather Lady Karen killed you. Yes. <laughs> well, I suppose this is goodbye then. Don't worry. I'm sure Karen will understand. Really? Do you think so? No. I don't. Hmm. So it's... So, if 500... Talents. It told me she was building a equal ship. five million gear. Him giving us a thousand still? talents is ten. Is ten million gear, right? So we paying them back double what we owe them. Hmm. Thorn. Not really, no. This won't take long. I just wanted to ask how you're getting on. August was worried about you, that you might still be doubting your craft, even after learning the trick of that cuirass. Is there something else weighing on your mind? Perhaps sharing your thoughts might help. That bastard's like a dog with a bone. Still, you've got a keen eye, I'll give him that. It's just, well, Karen showed me something. 
Something I've never seen before. And that was? A sword. An odd-looking thing with a single edge blade. The metal itself wasn't anything to write home about, but fuck me. The edge on it. You could slice a man clean in two with a weapon like that. A and katana? he'd be halfway home before he even realized he'd been cut. So that's what's troubling you? Nah. No, no, no. Not troubling me exactly. More distracting. Can't stop thinking. How do you get an edge of that sharp? It's driving me mad. And if you knew how to do it, we could arm the curse breakers with even better blades. That's about the size of it, yeah. I'll see what I can find out. Sharper swords are always welcome. And we can't have our master blacksmith being distracted. You're a soft touch, you know that. But I can't say I'm not grateful for it. Good luck, eh? Thank you. Let's see what Karen knows about this sword. You're looking well, Karen. What do you want? Out with it. I want to know about the sword you showed Blackthorn. Single-edged and extremely sharp. Running around after him again, are you? I suppose I am, yes. But I need to help him find out how to work an edge like that. It's driving him to distraction. Little wonder, I suppose. There's not many like that make it as far as the twins, and those that do go straight into private collections. Which made it nice and easy finding a buyer. Can you tell me who bought it? Where is it now? You think I tell people who my clients are? Suppose you're not likely to go nicking him off me, are you now? Fine. If you stop mooning at me like that. Lord Ignac's the man you want. Delmechian bloke. Collects weapons and the like. And he's got more money than sense, which is why he's one of my favourite clients. Reckon he'll still be at the inn in Dalamil, where I left him. Thank you, Karen. Oh. And he's... a touch eccentric. If you take my meaning. I appreciate the warning. All right. Now that all of our quests lead us outside, let's go out. I want to go on this hunt first, though. So let's do the Bomb King first, which is. Wait, what? Wait. Um, jeez, how did I lose it? Oh my goodness! All right, one second. Sorry about that. I had saved it, but now it's not. Um, now it's not saved. Hunt locations. Come on. Uh... Hmm. There we go. Okay, I am on. The Bomb King. Did that. Didn't do that yet. Didn't do that yet. Didn't do that. What the heck? There you go. It is in the Holy Empire of Sambrek. Okay. Oh, I can't even go anywhere else. Huh. All I can do is a story mission right now. Okay, well, let's do that then.
How are you feeling? Better. Thanks to Taya. I'm glad to hear it. And Torgal helped too. The new boy. Let's go. This used to be a trade route for merchants crossing the scars. Till the Republic laid a new road wide enough to let wagons pass. And all official traffic moved there. Leaving this one for those living outside the law. Indeed. I doubt we'll be the only outlaws on the trail today. Trouble up ahead, and too much of it for us to handle. I take it there's danger on the road. Oh, what about this fearsome-looking fellow? You think he'd be equal to the task? Oh, no doubt. Assuming he's willing to hear us out. Well met, friend. My brother and I have been tasked with finding a merchant's missing cart. You seen it by any chance? How does a merchant misplace his cart? Oh, the man's a coward. When he thought goblins might come a-snarling, he ran. Leaving his livelihood abandoned in the pass. He sent the two of us to fetch it, but it's gone. Now, I'm not much of a thinker, but I know the work of thieves when I see it. My brother's right on all accounts. And by my estimation, the bastards are lying in wait just down the road. We may have seen our share of action, true, but we've not got the skill in arms to boldly brave an ambush. You, however, have the look of a man who needn't fear a band of backwater ruffians. What do you say? Will you help us out? Chances are they'll come for you either way. But if you promise to lend us a hand... Sound like a scam. At least you'll pocket a reward for your troubles. Well, if I'm going to have to deal with the many... You've clearly got a fine head on those broad shoulders. We're lucky you came along. Now, hoping to make a heavy purse in Boklad, our merchant friend loaded his cart with as much as it would carry. Reckon he won't be forking over the rest of our fee if we don't find those goods. So, while you're seeing to those bandits, you keep your eyes open. All right. Just don't expect me to drag the cart out of there myself. No, no. Uh, you can leave the cart to us. You just put an end to those bandits and point us in the right direction. You do that, we'll take care of the rest. Definitely using me, but... If I was going to have to fight I'm not sure I trust anyway. those two. But if there are bandits lying in wait, I should probably take care of them. <laughs> Look lively, you lot. We've got guests. These must be our bandits. Yeah. Silence! <laughs> Oh, I forgot it's that.
this one. Almost a level up. Real close to leveling up. That's them dealt with. No. Where's that card? out of here will be a nightmare seems we found ourselves the right man for the job wouldn't you say found the cart and didn't leave a single bastard breathing our merchant friend will be delighted and how exactly will he be getting his goods out of here you leave that to us after all it'd be wrong to make such a fine warrior haul cabbages to market you've done your part and that's all you need to worry about. Here. Yeah. They shady. <laughs> They're gonna keep all it's this been stuff. A pleasure. Now piss off. Look, see? There's no need to be so rude, brother. What if we want his help again next time? They definitely have to no good. They finna keep all this stuff. He finna just leave it alone. You've had your rewards and you're not getting any more. Now piss off. I thought the bastards would have eaten a lot by now. Mm. Whatever. I was going. To, I was going to kill those bandits anyway on my way. At least I this way, I got paid for it. behind Rosaria when it comes to bridge building. The fallen ruin should hold at least. The path continues on the other side.
Oh, wow. So this is the Mechis. The land of the gods. It's even more impressive than I imagined. I remember being captivated by the story as a child. Long, long ago, man was overcome by avarice and challenged the gods in a bid to win their power. A final battle took place here, at these falls. Or so the legend goes. If anyone ever manages to plumb those depths, perhaps we'll learn if there's any truth to the tale. That the gods emerged victorious and punished man for his defiance by visiting upon him two curses. Dominance in bearers. To tell the truth, I always thought it strange that the dominant and their icons were deemed a curse. Back home, the dominant inherited the throne. They were admired and exalted, not spurned. Whenever I got to that part of the story, I always assumed there must be something I'd misunderstood. You had a lot of storybooks, didn't you? In your room, I mean. When we were young. The old legends were always my favorites. Epic battles between gods and men. Father encouraged me to read as much as I could. He thought it good for my education. You really were a boy like any other, weren't you? <laughs> Just look at this place. It's enough to make you believe the legends are true. I know. We're not far from Boklad. The road will be busier up ahead. And we'll have to keep our wits about us. Five? Something wrong? Nothing. It's nothing. See the reports are true, Father. You have surrendered the throne to Olivier. I have. Emperor Olivier shall rebuild the Holy Empire of Sambrek. How is he to rule an empire? He is but, but a boy. Right. I shall advise him until he comes of age. Father, please. Or for as long as I am able. The empire we seek to build needs young blood to rule. And I can think of none better suited to the task. There is other news, Dion. Hugo Kupka is dead and Drake's fang destroyed. The pillars of the Republic have fallen. Ere long, the Imperial banner shall fly over every city in storm. And then, Valisthea. All shall bow before their Emperor. Father, these are the words of a tyrant. They are the words of a god. The Emperor whom I gladly serve. Great Grieger made flesh.
Return to your camp, Dion, and ready your forces. It is time to show the world the true power of Sambrek. Father. <laughs> I find you much changed. Is this truly the path you wish to tread? Or are these the ambitions of another? Of Ultima, perhaps? What nonsense is this? I speak my mind, and my mind only. Though I do owe Annabella thanks for reminding me of certain truths. Regarding the nature of nations, of rulers, and of the divine. You would trust the words of this traitress. She betrayed her country. She slew her husband. You have ever been an invaluable servant to Sambrek, Prince Dion. I trust you will continue to serve your emperor in the wars to come. The canker! Silence! Insolent wretch! You will bend the knee. All else is heresy. Sire, forgive me. This audience is over. Come, your radiance. The Rowena Syndicate awaits your pleasure. Oh, not another meeting with silly old men. They're so boring. I'm hungry, Father. Can't we have luncheon instead? Hey, how Does is she manipulating him like that? That you will not inherit your father's throne. I have suffered worse. <laughs> Count your blessings, Dion. For a baseborn child to be chosen by Bahamut is miracle enough. You have risen high on his wings, but you shall rise no higher, lest your impure blood stain the throne. What do you know of my blood? It can be because north. we just need to hug the coast. So it can be because he's a dominant that she don't want him to take the throne because she ain't mind for the phoenix to take the throne. So it must be that Prince Dion's mother is not of royalty. Infiltrating the Dominion won't be easy with the Imperials on high alert. No, his radiance has lost one capital already. We can be sure Sylvester will do everything in his power to hold on to the inside. His troops are well-trained and increasingly battle-hardened. But it's not as if we can wait for the siege to end. Run like the wind! Close the road to Randalar. If the siege breaks, they'll need more than this to stop the Imperial Legions marching on the capital.
Good girl. Fly, Ambrosia. And they're all making for the Crystalline Dominion. Because they don't know how to live without the Crystal's blessing. That'll do, girl. There are no crystals here. This is where we're supposed to meet Goots, isn't it? That's right. He said he'd wait for us here after replenishing his supplies. I dare say he'll have finished by now. Hurry, man. I must leave for the Dominion. Bloody Crimson Caravan scooping up. Well met. A uh hand, -huh, sir. Many thanks. A fine choice. You're welcome any time. Out of my sight, wretch. from across the water. Come one, come all. Feast your eyes. Good sir, can I interest you in... Uh... How much? For a measly crust of bread? You won't find any cheaper. Not nowadays. But you're more than welcome to look. The Empire's unlawful and illegitimate occupation of the Crystalline Dominion is still in effect. Only those whose business in Twinside has been officially approved by the Republican Army will be permitted to cross the border. All who seek entry are to form a line and ready their documents for inspection. It looks like we aren't the only ones who are eager to leave. And they're checking everyone. Can't you make an exception? Not for the likes of you. We won't get through without that pass. Let's go and find good, shall we? He must be around here somewhere. Come, taste Tight fisted swines. You should come with me to the Dominion. Life will be different then. Remember when half the people coming through here were traitors. You won't find anything of this quality in Twinside. Ah, oh, good. There you are. Clive, I I'm so sorry. Don't tell Nan, will you? He lost his pair. Slow down, good. Just tell us what happened. It's betrayed us, pass. It's gone. We cannot ride the caravan without it. We won't even be able to get through the flipping checkpoint. Do you remember when you last saw it? It was in my pocket a minute ago. Then a burn bumped into me and... Here. Yeah. You don't think that they might have nicked it, do you? It wouldn't surprise me. A busy market like this is prime territory for pickpockets. 
So, to get the pass back, we need to find this child. Where would we even start? <gasps> I, I know where! I, I've got a pal in Bocklad who might be able to help us. No one knows more about what goes on round here than she does. Where do we find her? She's the owner of the Crimson Caravans, up that way. Sound's got a red chocobo on it. No time like the present. You two go on ahead. I'm gonna check the rest of my stuff, make sure no one else is missing. All right. We'll meet you there. Let's keep an eye out for this red chocobo, then. And the other on our purses. It's next to the checkpoint. Peaches and pears. Looking to hire a coach? It's ten million for a two-birder to the Crystalline Dominion. Take it or leave it. Oh, we're not here for that. Then I bid you good day. Ten million? Oh, wait! Just don't go, El! He's my mate! As I live and breathe... Goots, what are you doing back in Boklad? <laughs> I gather Lady Karen didn't send you. So what trouble have you got yourself into this time? Uh, it's me trader's pass. It, it got stolen. By little Ben. Of all the... You're the size of a marble. Honestly, ugh. Goots told us that you know the markets well. Might you have an idea which little ban could have done this? We don't intend to punish them. We just need our pass back. Then, we can be on our way. I see. So neither of you has a trader's pass either. <laughs> Not that anyone would take you for traders, but I suppose that's why you came to me, correct? Now, I can't say for sure who took your pass, but I suspect I know why they did it. Let me explain. Ever since the Fist marched on the Dominion, the Republic has been clamping down on any commerce that might aid the Empire more than it does us. Which means traders' passes have gone from being merely a way of easing one's progress to being essential if one wishes to cross the border at all. And with demand outstripping supply, they've become a precious commodity, leading some to seek to acquire them by less than legitimate means. So the children are stealing passes to sell on the black market? Yes, and no. Passes are inscribed with the names of their owners, and yet none of the victims' names have appeared on the register of those passing through the checkpoint. Which means? That someone is doctoring the stolen passes. The same someone who is encouraging the children to steal them. And the same someone who has Goots's pass, no doubt. Whoever they are, they're ruining the livelihoods of honest merchants. Which is why we've decided to take a stand. Will you stand with us? You want to get your pass back. And we want to ensure that no more are stolen. Catch whoever's behind it all. And two birds shall be slain with a single stone. Is there any other way of getting to the Crystalline Dominion Goods? They won't let you in if you're not with the caravan. It's that, uh... I don't know, try swimming across the strait. But, but the guards will definitely spot you if you try and do that. Like, uh, we don't want to get spotted, right? So either we find the people who took the pass, or give up all hope of entering the Dominion. 
All right. We'll help. Thank you kindly. Um, yeah. But I don't know your name. Eloise at your service. Clive. A pleasure doing business with you, Clive. You. The proprietor of the furniture makers by the coach stop is spearheading the search. Wear that, and he will know you for a friend. I suggest that you speak with him first. The furniture makers. Understood. Snake spit for the road. Juicy pears. Make your thirst without. Are you the furniture maker? Looking for something in particular? Ah, and are we collared you too, eh? Then I expect you want to know more. She told me you were leading the hunt for the pickpockets. What have you learned? For one, that they're targeting the traders carrying the biggest packs. Harder to watch your back, see? And less chance of the mark giving chase if they're spotted. Not that they'd be likely to catch them. Those imps know every inch of this warren like the backs of their hands. Their eyes must have lit up when they saw Goots. The fishmonger round by the gate's been trying to track down the children involved. You should go and have a word with her. Thank you. We will. Don't find anything of this quality in Twinside. You should come with me to the Dominion. Life will be fish for sale, fresh sorted and smoked. Can I interest you? Ah, sorry. Message from Eloise, is it? She's asked me to help her. To help you find the right away. Pockets. Is that so? Suppose I better tell you what I know then. For one, this isn't a family operation. All the traders say the children who stole their passes were dirty, dressed in rags. Street urchins, by the sound of it. We get a lot around here. Orphans from the wars. A few, perhaps. You saw the refugees gathered by the entranceway? They're all looking for a new start in the Dominion and beyond. Some of them take it as an opportunity to rid themselves of unwanted baggage. The shame of it. Whoever's behind this would have to have made themselves known to the children at some point. And so should we. You should start with the children around here, then. I doubt they're the ones involved, but they might have heard something. It's worth a try. All right, then. Questioning children. How hard can that be? Hmm. You should come with me. Come and taste my peaches. They're sweet as nectar. Excuse me. Do you mind if I ask you something? Can't stop you. I was mm. just wondering if anyone has asked you to do anything out of the ordinary recently. <sighs> anything you grown-ups ever ask us to do is shut up and go away. So guess what I'm about to tell you to do. Wow. Sorry. I'll leave you alone. There's a little boy. I'll take the large one. Do you have a moment? What do you want? What I want is to know who's asking children like you to pick pockets. I don't know. 
Nobody's asked me. What's picking pockets? Do you get paid for it? No, uh, you get in trouble for it. So if they come calling, you know what to tell them. Caravan stops next to the check. Uh, excuse me. What do you want? I, I, I don't have any money. It's all right. We're not going to hurt you. We just want to talk. What, what, what about? We've heard that some very bad people are making children like you steal from travelers. We need to know who's behind it so we can stop them. I don't know much about it, really. But my friend, Honza, he... he said he got a job doing something dangerous. Sounds promising. We need to find him and ask. Do you know where your friend might be? He's usually by the tents outside town. Thank you. You've been very helpful. Jesus. Come on, come on! These fetch quests. We should just left these as side quests. These as main quests is ridiculous. She must have been the refugee camp. Let's hope he's still nearby. <laughs> that big fat donkey was easy pickings. He wouldn't have noticed if we robbed his boots off him. <laughs> yeah. Wish we hadn't handed over the pass, though. Could use one of those things to get out of this dump. Chance would be a fine thing. The moment they found out, they'd string us up by our guts. Would they now? Perhaps you'd like to introduce us to these charming characters. Shit! We're in trouble now! What do we do? You two get caught if you want. I'm off. Hunter, where are you going? So that was Hunza, eh? Jill, you watch these two. I'm going after him. All right. He can't have gone far. I need to find him before his employers do. Okay. Did you see a boy run past? He stole something from a friend of mine. There was a boy ran back there towards the chocobo pen, but... Thank you. themselves the car stones. They said they'd give me good gill if I did what they told me. I knew they were bad, but bread doesn't come for free. Didn't come at all half the time before I started buzzing for them. And you know, if I didn't do it, they'd just pick on someone else. Someone they could push around easier. Hunter. You found him then? Jill. Where are the other two? Eloise is watching over them. She sent Goots and I to look for you. You're... him! I haven't got your pass anymore, if that's what you're after. I gave it to the Carstones. Whatever you do to me, I can't get it back. Not that I go against them, anyway. If it weren't for their gill, me and my mates would have starved. another child to do your bidding Wait, what we're not <laughs> don't swear bro don't hurt him <laughs> uh, 
You're making a mistake. We're on the same side. Like hell we are. That brooch. Where did you get it? Uh, Master Theo. <laughs> <laughs> Goots, what are you doing with these people? Unless you're the ones my sister was talking about. Your sister? Eloise didn't tell us she had a brother. And why would she? I'm just her back and a blade. Theodore, at your service. Sorry about before. Theodore, what do you know of the cast stones? Vultures who have made Boglad their hunting ground. They prey on the desperate, stealing from those with Gil and bullying those without it into joining their flock. I'd been looking into their activities in hope of sparing the refugees any further hardship. But it seems they've already stooped even lower than I'd feared. Hans is a good lad. Don't blame him for what they've made him do. If he and his friends hadn't agreed to work for the stones, some other poor souls would have. On pain of death, most likely. Clive, was it? And my sisters asked you to help put an end to the pickpocketing. Then we all want the same thing. Like I said. All right, so before we start the next Where is it? mission, I'm going to end this video. Ooh. Pats, pats, pats. I gave him a treat that time. I'm going to end the video here because it's about to hit an hour. Um, so again, appreciate y'all checking me out. Man, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch y'all on the next one.